Well, we'll call the meeting to order. You have your minutes in front of you. Actually, if you want to open this with a prayer. Sure. Here you please move your hands. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, right now we humbly come before you with a heart of thanks. For Lord Jesus, you have provided each and every one of us with the opportunity to help uh, better our community. And I'd ask, Lord, that uh, you would instill in us the perseverance and, Lord Jesus, just the intelligence and intellect to, to oversee the decisions for tonight. And I'd ask, Lord Jesus, that your hand would be uh, involved in each and every decision and your will would be done. Thank you and praise you again for all of these opportunities. In your most precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now you want to review your minutes. No note that we went under executive session. It's the first thing we did, wasn't it? That was the meeting before. Already? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I had to think about that one. <laughs> well, the I, I neglected to swear him in the first meeting he was there. <laughs> yeah, he did a great job the second. There you go. Right. <laughs> If that's the case, we didn't put it in the I make a motion Nothing. to accept Nothing. the minutes. I'll second it. I have a motion to approve the minutes as written. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. I'm sorry. Uh, I'd like to welcome JC to our. Meetings. Glad to have you. Did Granny say she was going to come down or not? No. I'm going to get her to work. You are? Yeah. Okay. Is that on agenda for me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Without further ado. Want to come visit with us? Sure. Left your chair. All right. <clears throat> I guess it's appropriate for the first thing that I do is congratulate JC on becoming king of homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a good year so far. Absolutely. <laughs> well, he had a, an experience last weekend, didn't you? JC went with me on the Fly Kansas tour. Really? So he uh, allowed me to take a nap all the way from Salina to Lincoln, Kansas. He, he flew the entire way. <laughs> <laughs> with a Unfor tailwind? <laughs> Unfortunately, weather was really, really messed well, us up. Yeah. So, uh, but we had a good time. We yeah. had a good time. Uh, I'd like to first of all say thank you for allowing me to come speak to y'all and uh, actually what I'm really trying to do is help you and the City Council. I'd like to express my thanks and appreciation for the very good work that I've seen done on cleaning up the streets. The spraying that's gone on I think has really been nice mm -hmm. and effective. I'd also like to thank on the rewriting or review of the dog ordinance as well. With that, I'm here tonight to try to help in keeping the city safe and sightly. So with that, as my discussion here today or tonight is um, actually it has a good and a bad side to it. We'll cover the bad side first. And then we'll move on to the good side. I only have about four of these, so if you could share those. And uh, yeah, let's see, here's another. Yeah. 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 All right, the uh, issue that I have is I think most of you are familiar with the property that I own on North Kentucky Avenue, 
412 North Kentucky. Right south of me is a property, which I screwed up on the address there. It's actually 406 North Kentucky. Uh, for quite some time, that particular property has remained unsightly, and I say, will say unsafe. Uh, the, the property, due to open windows, I should say, in the, in the foundation of that property, uh, has become the home of several feral cats, skunks, and I don't know what else. <laughs> and I've tried my darndest to get it cleaned up. Uh, I know that some work was done, and uh, the owner of that property now chose, I think probably about <coughs> two years ago, to put down, uh, I call it particle board or OSB mm. on that for decking. And we could see what was going to happen with that right away, even though they did put some waterproofing on it. That only lasts for a short period of time. And, uh, you know, it, it, the property has continued to run down uh, hill. Uh, sort of a, I've got on the sheet that you have there, I've got three photographs. The first photograph is showing the east side of the property. And if you look at that photograph, there are two open holes in it on the east side. And that's where the feral cats and the skunks and, and everything else uh, goes in and out. Uh, the next, if you turn yours over, I've got a couple of photographs that show the OSB, <coughs> the deterioration of it, the holes that are in it, and everything. If someone was to, I think if someone stepped on that in the wrong position, Sure. Down they go. So that's that's where it's at. Background on this, this whole thing started, I believe it was 2012 is uh, the year that it started. And that's when Danny Hill purchased uh, that property and at an auction. He came in and moved the manufactured homes off of that property. And when I say he moved it, that's exactly what he did. He moved it and went on his way. Uh, in that process, he violated a city ordinance, which I think should have been putting down, a, I think is a $5,000 non-refundable deposit on it to pay for any uh, thing, any items that needed to be done. Uh, he walked off, did not pay that. Uh, in addition, he left all sorts of junk uh, there on the property and also this foundation was completely open there's a crawl space under it it's probably about four to five foot deep had trash in it and everything else well it became a magnet of school kids because uh, they're walking down within a half a block of this place and it's just a magnet for them and they would come over there and we can literally see them getting into it we, to, uh, the city took him to court and he pled no contest uh, to it and was fined $1,000. He immediately declared bankruptcy, as far as I know, and uh, walked away. And I don't think he ever did uh, pay the fine. Do you know if he paid the fine? No. Is it listed on the bankruptcy? <coughs> to my knowledge, it has not been paid. That's, that's what I figured. But if he's listed on the bankruptcy, then it's... Well, it depends, yes. Right at that point in time when he came to trial also, I think before he came to trial, he actually signed a quit claim deed over to the existing owner, who, who is Mark Freemurth, uh, living in Salina, Kansas. Uh, in a process of trying to get this thing straightened up, uh, I contacted Mark on October 19th of 2017 and requested that the two holes on the east side be covered to prevent uh, animals from getting in there. He indicated that he would 
cover those two holes. However, as you can see in the photograph that I took, and I took this on October 2nd, those two holes are still there. I contacted him again on September 30th of this year. That was, what, about a week ago. And requested that he close those two holes and uh, repair the decking mm -hmm. on this. Well, believe it or not, uh, I think it was this last Saturday, after I had already prepared this, I was loaded for bear. <laughs> you know, he came in last Saturday, I do believe, and uh, did some stuff. Here's photographs of what he did. If you look at the first photograph, that's again from the east. Uh, looks like he did in fact cover the two holes so that no animals could get in or out. Now whether or not he cleared animals that was in there out, I have no idea. You'll notice also there about three-fourths of the way down, uh, there's a, a sign. That's a no trespassing sign that oh. he's tacked up there. He's also included one on the other side as well. Mm -hmm. yep. So that was the two holes. And it looks like he's actually done a fairly decent job of covering them up. I won't say it's the most sightly thing in the world, but it is effective, I believe. The second photograph shows what I conclude to be at least an attempt to repair uh, the decking. And so, as an end result, I do believe that he's made headway on it, and I think uh, he's maybe trying, at least. I conclude the uh, repairs there is also OSB sheets that's laid down there. So now, I guess I've got a question for y'all. How long do you think those are going to last? In addition to that, the OSB, he just covered up the holes, really. Uh, the OSB is still there. It's, I would guess, rotten. Well, what can you say? And if, no, somebody, and if somebody gets on top of it, boop, down they go, unless they know exactly where the, what do you call those things, joysters? Mm -hmm. uh, is there a joist on it? What is yes. under there? What is under there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it is still, um, it's, to the best of my knowledge, it is still the crawl space that's under there. Right. And I think he's used, I believe it's 2 by 6 or maybe it's 2 by 8 going across. He's got one that goes down, I'm sure, the center. You'd mm -hmm. have to. Yeah to do it uh, with two or three things under there to keep that up and then just the OSB on it. Uh, he indicated when he did this that he was planning on putting a building there, but that has not happened. Can you open to selling it? Uh, he's indicated that he would like to sell it. What's his price? Well, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as of, I think it was October 1st, I sent him um, an instant message and I told him that I offered to purchase the property. I said I can solve this problem because if I purchase it in a short period of time, very similar to the property that I bought across from the school, mm -hmm. I would uh, go in there and properly remove that foundation and uh, fix that eyesore. Um, he has not responded one way or the other to me uh, as to whether or not he would take my offer or not. And I feel that my offer is in fact uh, confidential between him and me at the present time, so I really can't say what I offered him. I will tell you this, it's not much. <laughs> does, does he maintain the the mowing or do we do yeah. that? As far as I know, um, I think that he's actually doing the mowing. Do you know if you, we've ever sent a letter to him, the yeah. city? Several this year. Several? 
Mm -hmm. I mean, all you know, the last one was certified. Mm -hmm. it may uh, come back. I, I see somebody come in there and do the mowing. It's not the city that actually does the mowing. Uh, I think that what happens is he goes as long as he can. Uh, you send him a letter, and then he takes action. And it's just like when I called him, uh, that was on September 30th. 30th. Mm -hmm. When I called him, he was actually in Wisconsin at that time. And I had, I had two phone calls to him. He didn't answer either one, which I can't blame him there. I've, I've got a 951551, uh, one number, which is California proper, you know, uh, okay. robot, robot call, call number. So, uh, I can't blame him for answering that. So I finally texted him and he did get back in touch with me. So I believe he's getting my text. Okay. Uh, and, uh, anyway, that's background on this. Uh, I, I believe that right now he's did what I asked him to do. Uh, however, I think the problem is still there. Uh, it's still a hazard. It's still yeah. a hazard. <clears throat> you know, if, unfortunately, like I say, we're within a half a block of uh, school kids walking uh, and a no trespassing sign, you know how long that's <laughs> going to last. Um, you know, and if somebody gets up there on top of that thing and how many Start. kids know what no trespassing means? No, that's right. That's right. It's that's just something else to investigate, right? <laughs> have, so I have we contacted him concerning the structure or just not since I've been here now. Okay. What about the structure? Dean, you're pretty well aware of the place that I'm talking about sure. though. Yeah. And uh, in fact uh, Terry went with me up there to look at it as well here just the other day so if I remember right that property it's been a few years back but the sewer we had a sewer problem yes and we did. blocked that off or did we <laughs> I know we had a problem there you had a problem and I do remember you dug way down in the alley and everything right. and there was like a clean out clear back there by the alley that was overflowing Okay. You remember that? So I guess, to your knowledge, did we disconnect? I do not know. Service. What, I do not know what happened there. I will say this: that when the before they put that decking on there, and it was just a crawl space down there, I I can tell you right now, I saw an open sewer line. Right down there <clears throat> so I don't know whether it was and it could have had a cap on it and somebody took it off mm -hmm. I mean uh, but it, okay I'll I don't know it. well I'll I mean I don't know I'm yeah. just guessing and I know well if Lewis was here he could sure tell us but it it as I recall we we disconnected it I could be wrong but it I don't know it, didn't, it doesn't appear to be okay. based on the outside visual I will tell you that there there was, I believe, a couple that was living there about the time when that repair was done. A young couple. So you're saying that uh, if you think the sewer is still connected and it's open, you would smell sewer gas. Well, I see. I think I think when Lewis was in there, I think they disconnected it at the alley at the main. If they did, that's where it I would think be done. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's when, they, where, when they were at the main. Like say, I'm pretty sure they did, uh, and I don't have any knowledge. Right, of that. right. All I can tell you is, when uh, you know, I saw an open sewer line uh, inside of that crawl space, and that's well, we can research that quick yeah. enough at a later yeah. time. But uh, so I guess you've. you've done a wonderful job of outlining the situation at this point in time. Do you want everybody to just stand fast and wait and see if he responds to your offer? But it's been a week since he that offer was made. Okay. I'd say give him another week and if it hasn't occurred within that period of time, 
because I, I agree with everybody 100 percent this this is still a hazard whether you threw a few more pieces oh or yeah. Not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah absolutely I can't believe you get up there and put those boards on there personally but well, he spent the a, other looks he spent some money on that yeah. Well, you can probably think. see him if you're near there. Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh. If you just patch, that would be pretty. Uh, he's not a big man. <laughs> well, even from the photos, you can tell that stuff is. It's rough. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, uh, anyway, that's. I well, wanted to report this uh, to y'all, uh, indicating the, the things that I have tried to do. And, and I think. If the problem can be resolved by neighbors working together, I think that's the best way of yeah. doing it. Yep. Yeah. If they cannot, then it, the thing needs to be brought to the attention of the city council. Okay. Well, that's the route we'll go is to wait just a little bit. And, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Whether you might tell him, look, just let me know either way, so we yeah. know. I, I told him I was coming to the city council. Okay. You know, with it. In the meantime, we'll we'll go ahead and yeah. double check that sewer. Yeah. Just to uh, in the outside chance that you do get a hold of it, and you would know what where you're at with that. Well, the first thing I would, you know, if that was to happen, I would uh, work with Terry. And make sure that it, it was capped. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. if I was doing something. Is the water and, meter up on the west part of the property? You know yes, it is. Okay. And uh, the water meter is disconnected. Right. Right. On it, the gas meter has been removed, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Okay. So that's that. Okay. And uh, we can go from there. I. And if uh, you want in the future, Dean, if you want to look at it, perhaps on I've, I've, I've actually looked in the, in the structure already. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you lo looked inside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we had the community cleanup day, I drove all that stuff. It was in that lot to the front, too, if you picked up. Because mm -hmm. I was not having any luck with that owner to fix some of that himself. So. Okay. Anybody else have any questions for Red? Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank and you. keep up the good work. <laughs> there, you can have another copy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll follow up on that. Milton, you're here. You want to visit with us? I saw I'd come. I was watching a video last week. Is that a yes or a no? You want to come visit with us? No. no? I just, so I just, it rained and I've been working in town and I okay. just come to the meeting. So okay. The evening here, so. Well, you're, you're I've welcome. Been to make progress. You're welcome to come visit if you want. Otherwise, we're going to move on. So. Go on. All right. Make thank you. Sure. All right. Are you the party to report on the library expansion update? No, she is. She is. Um, yeah. Uh, <coughs> you can talk to me. They are, um, they have, the library board has agreed to hire um, Kirk Schultz and, and Jim, Jim Fredericks. Yeah. They're basic, or Kirk's going to be the general contractor and him and Jim are going to do the work and then if they need somebody else, I mean, there's times they may and then they're going to kind of oversee the whole project to make sure that you okay. know, what, uh, what we need, <laughs> when we need to have it. And we have to have a licensed and bonded contractor because of the grant money. Because of the grant? We don't know. We don't have to. And no, he no engineer? The Kirk. Kirk is the, yeah, he's the general. Uh, he's, okay. a, he's insured and bonded both. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I misunderstood. But Jim and Kirk are both. Yeah, just so are you guys so able to hope. work this through without having to go through an engineer? Mm -hmm. okay. Fantastic. Crazy work. Well, it's just less money like spent. 30%. Well, yes, yeah. that's exactly right. Because <laughs> we look at, you know, 
doing that whole they, which way to go. Mm -hmm. I will say the uh, interns were very helpful. Yeah. In that Good. Process. I mean, the, a lot of what Having their work road. did just like kind of moved Went right to it. Good. Yeah. So with all with all that said, can you tell us where kind of where you're at? I mean, well, when start, you start we, we can hammers. start the I think they said the third of December. Okay. So okay. before that, they were going to use kids to help load up the books. The question Ramey had was that if she could store the books in the music building during the renovation. The metal building. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. the only thing that's in it right now is display cases. Right, and she was thinking oh, that she could use some of those to set so that they wouldn't all be on the the, the books wouldn't be on the floor. Yeah, that would be so good. So the concrete doesn't or it doesn't yeah, we compensate you. Yeah. Yeah. How are you guys going to move boxes? Just yes. Yeah. Box the, them up. If, you, if you take a peek in that room, there's a lot of boxes. I don't know if she has, but like they said, the FFA has a plan that she's yeah. talked to somebody at the school about that there will be school kids that will be spending like part of their day. I think we had a that'd be a great community service. We had a meeting right. two weeks or ago and I don't know if it's that. But. I, I don't know which group, but I do know she's talked with somebody at the school. The K's and the FFA, I think, are the two yeah. that I'm aware of now. Yeah. So. Well, right there is so two-thirds of the school. Whilst we're <laughs> almost on that subject, can Tell us what the what the story is on the books in the round building. Is that stuff she's trying to get rid of yet? Yeah, I think so. But I'm not. I mean, I mean I'll become, have to visit with her. We didn't visit about any of that, so I'm not well, sure. Well, the reason I ask is because, you know, you're talking about moving books. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about having a lot of help. Mm -hmm. And in all honesty, I know there's been a little in and out with the stuff, but it's almost become a mm -hmm. permanent fixture in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm we'll just, have to work on. you know, asking what the, if you got a chance to have somebody help move them. Mm -hmm. Or where she wants to go. Are, the, are them eventually ever going to come back to the library? Not to my knowledge. No, I, I think, think those are books. as a <coughs> she sells them by donation or whatever. Right, by donation during the some, Yeah, some people bring other books and add to that pile, too. <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> well, yeah. you but, well, it's, it's kind of like recycling. Well, exactly. That's what yeah. a lot of people it's have trouble with. It's a book recycling with. program. <laughs> but, yeah, it is. It is a recycling program. Okay. Well, I just thought and, and there was some other ideas that have been brought up about what to do with some of them. But she's a, she, I know she's aware, but it's just timing, I think. But okay. we'll make a bigger deal to, about getting it taken care of. So, Anything else? I think that was the main thing. She just wanted to, I mean, basically ask if, officially, if that's okay. She wanted yeah, to be sure. I don't see a problem with that. Anybody, council, have any questions? Nope. Okay. okay. All right. And then I'm going to slip in here because I got this from Kelly today. And the historic uh, district information, and I know that she came, I don't know, was six months ago, I'm trying to think exactly when, and the Lincoln County Economic, Economic Development Foundation received a grant to conduct a survey of both downtown Lincoln and downtown Sylvan Grove um, to do research on the history of the community along with an evaluation of the historic integrity of the overall district. Um, Basically to see if we can qualify for a historic preservation, which puts you on a list, and if you have a stone building or a building downtown, then you have a better chance at getting a, a grant or monies to help fix up that building. That's what it boils down so to. That's basically what we're talking about. Yep, okay. that's right. So they hired, the consultant that they hired was Brenda Spencer, and she will hold a meeting in Sylvan and a meeting in Lincoln. The meeting in Sylvan will be Monday, next Monday, October 15th at 7 p.m. here at City Hall. Um, she was hoping that that some of the council members, if not all, could come to that, as well as other community members. And it just, it also, especially those with, um, that own property on Main Street, um, because she'll kind of give a discussion on how that will affect them and what, what that means, and the timeline and the benefits that they can receive from the research, from that survey. So, um, but basically I just want to let you know that and let you know that. So. That's the same time as our fire meeting, Steve. Do what? 
what time? Next Monday is? Yeah. Well, okay. fire means at 7.30. I don't know how long it will last. She's going to be in town, going right. to be <coughs> taking pictures and stuff. And if But the, but the actual um, meeting... I don't think it's really intended to last for more than half an hour. So oh, okay. It was okay. supposed to be here. Or here. 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 It was intended to be pretty brief at 7. 7 o'clock. All right. Anything else on that, then? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Well, Dean, you want to come? Sure. Update us. Whether I should even bring this up or not, but I'm going to anyway. On the property south of, of Reds over there, if anyone recalls, we probably have some documentation on it, but when North Central Kansas planning was here, that was one of the properties that they put on their hit list, if you will. And um, to the best of my knowledge, when they were talking about demolitions in the grant, remember, I mean, there was some talk about, you know, ones that, uh, we got applications for and the ones that weren't, we didn't get applications for. Mm -hmm. And there was a line of thought, from what I recall, that the city might have to start some kind of a condemnation process on the ones that would fall into that category but didn't apply. Just a thought. I don't know who all remembers what, but I rode around with those gals that, that day, mm -hmm. and that, that was one of the properties that they were not question I have is whether or not it's considered a house, therefore... It's an unsafe structure, I would say. <laughs> but they... I got the impression that it was... It had to be a house. They couldn't do it. A residence. Oh, for... No, no, but I think what they were saying is I think that they I were see. they were wanting the, if the city to have to follow through with action of condemnation. I'm just saying that we're going to be dealing with... Can you condemn something more. like that, then, I guess? Yes, is that... Unsafe, <laughs> you can't condemn yeah. a yeah. piece yeah. of yeah. concrete? Subject, I'm just going to... Bring this up. In 2015, um, you had a hearing. The city council had a hearing, and they did um, condemn it as an unsafe and dangerous structure, um, and listed the reasons why. Um, I'm. I mean, you. I'm not sure. You can take that further, but at the end of the day, I believe that then would be something. And, that would cost the city, and that they would try to have to get that back in taxes is the only way that's really going to yeah. um, happen unless the homeowner... I mean, you can put pressure, you can use the property, we can abate the property. But as we all know, that when we abate a nuisance of any kind, that's a cost to the city initially. So just understand that, yes, that's a process that can... It has been started, it can be finished. Um, but that would be us going forth... Mm -hmm. Correct correct me if I'm wrong, even, of course, that being just a foundation, you know, the cost would be considerably less than an actual house, mm -hmm. but the first thing that comes to my mind, if Red is successful, then he hasn't owned it long enough, isn't there some wordplay around concerning no. that? Well, you mean the CBD, that, that, that CBD doesn't great. have an effect. In regards to that, I I, that I don't think I just say no. It's not just that it's it's just that I would I would have to find out from Carol. I don't right. believe it's considered a residence that can be part of the grant. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's my point. It, yeah, I think it's she was like specific on it. Can be part of the grant. It can't yeah. be because it makes too much money to qualify anyway. No, on, on demolitions, it's, it it's not my. But I think that they were talking about like another one. For example, the yellow house up by the water tower was yes. not one that we received an application for demolition. Right. And their line of the way I understood it was that they were going, they would expect the city to proceed with that. places that should be condemned if they okay. didn't get in on you know That's what I, that's how I understood that from from Carol and right. the Department of the mm -hmm. other gals. I mean, I, so right. I I could be mistaken, but from what I I mean, I talked to her. She was here today. We had a meeting today. Um, that is one of those things. It it has to be. A residence. It can't be a, right. a shed or for grant money. Yeah, right. Just, for the grant right. Money. I just, yeah. Right. I just want to be clear about right. that. So that. So then you're. Okay. So then you're back so to like I said. If you things. abate a new, you, you know, you, you take it to that other process, your condemnation, you go through That's all that right. process. Mm -hmm. It would ultimately be on the city, and the city would have to try and recover that um, yeah. on the methods we have available to us. 
but not that you can't go through that process. I'm not saying the city doesn't have an interest in doing that. I think they do, mm -hmm. but I'm just making so sure since, that it's clear. Since you brought that up, are there... I just want to bring it up so that everybody's aware of it. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, are there other properties that fall into that category yep. as the house at the water that, that are not one? applied for? As far as I know, yes. 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 Okay. Yes. So and, and again, I, that might have been one of those, I mean, if that was said when it was just you and I and her I, and I the other gal this, or... This when, part when of it is a little state, bit new to me. When the state gal was here, was that when the Department of Commerce was well, here? For the Department of Transportation or whoever it was? Huh? Yeah. No, I, I guess what I'm saying, just the aspect of them wanting us to actively pursue that, that part of it is a little bit... Well, I mean, we they're encouraging us. I, I just... I, yeah. There's... Well, I guess... Encouraging the, the city to continue those cleanup efforts by doing things. Oh, yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. I think that's what I guess. Think about, you're not. talking about, like, Ohio Street and when they... Like the, the, the gutters and the clearing and what they kind of, mm -hmm. you know, they kind of came back after the fact and kind of told us or scolded us, I guess you will, right? That was part of what we should have been doing or should have had done. And I mean, obviously now it's done. That mm -hmm. stuff's done, but. Yeah. Okay. Forewarning, I guess, is all I'm saying. Well, I just got that impression. So. And obviously, you know, we've always, it's always been our intention to remain proactive. But it's just like if. Is this there any way this imperils our current standing? I don't know. No, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to say I that. Say I, I just. I'm just saying that. Again, with you know. Part of doing what they, you know, what they feel like, you know, when you receive any of that money, you want to continue those efforts. Well, I, the yeah, point we, is to clean up. Yeah, the we all know and, that. And mm. to help the community. Yeah. Not just by demolition, but well, the, the, so because that's. That's one reason I thought they did us a huge disservice when they made the huge public announcement is because there were a number of individuals that said to me, said, well, you got your grant, now we're, we're good. Yeah. Well, they were under so the impression the check was yeah. in hand. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, uh, kind of is. You mentioned something, Jennifer, that I uh, was kind of new to me. <clears throat> I have uh, requested demolition yes. of my, I'll refer to it, chicken coop yes uh, now since it is not a residence does that stop yes. the demolition yes, yes. Okay. that's that yeah like I said that's okay yeah they a shed or garage specific to a residence it has, it has to be, to be a, a residence unless yeah. you want to take your house with it I'll, <laughs> I'll offer rent for Richard to go <laughs> but yeah, no, but that's, I just, that was, you know, I just wanted that to be. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So So if there is a house to come down, though, and there just happens to be a garage there, then that could be yes. included. Okay. If if a house is taken with, yeah, okay. there's like a Like the one up there on the structure. water tower. I, I, I think it's a house. Yeah, there is house. a garage there. there. It's partially there, yeah. yeah <laughs> not much left. No. Okay. So, yes, that, well, an example would be um, Melinda Howe's property, mm -hmm. and there is a structure behind it right. that will be included in that. Okay. But it's because of the residence. <coughs> and you have to remember the point of the house, the point of the grant is to get rid of housing that is not viable to live in right. and, to, and to, yes, and then yeah. to have viable housing for the right. community. So that's why that's specific to that. I didn't mean to backtrack. I just wanted everybody to kind of. No, that's yeah, fine. So it didn't get anybody else by off guard or whatever. But, um, uh, going back, let's talk about last month. Mr. Wehrman's in the audience right there, but uh, um, they met. He did what uh, he did what he was asked to do and more. Um, okay. And I know the last time I talked to him, the last week, there were uh, four different vehicles on that lot that are in the works of being gone this month. So. Um, sure just, is, just so huh? everybody Good. is aware Good. where we are on that. Um, <coughs> there's some properties that uh, trying to plant wheat last week, but there's some properties that uh, should have been mowed and didn't get mowed, and you know, <laughs> the yard work should have been done and didn't get done. So, so we'll see wrong. where right. what happens there. Um, is is your is your mindset kind of 
we're heading into the end of the season here. We're heading into the season where the growth of things stops, so we'll focus more on some of the some of the shrubbery and trees right. and, and removal of some of that stuff right. that's over the alleys that are prone to this tree growing into sewer lines issue that you guys are starting to deal with or starting to try to face. And tomorrow I will call the highway department and address the county shop. The county yeah. shop because it is knee high. Mm-hmm. Because what? The, 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 the grass the on the county shop. shop. And the oh. noxious weed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they went they, in there that one time and, you know, really cleaned that north part up. That, yeah. that used to be even worse than it is. Yeah. And I, but, yeah, that's, it does need to be We milk. have not, since I've started, have had to contact them several times. And we really felt like sending the letter was the right thing to do. We've always emailed or paid a phone call. I mean, there's a the city tractor and a mower yeah. sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's where that is, anyway. Yeah. We discussed that today, but I will call tomorrow. Okay. Other than that, I'm not trying to spend too much time here if I can help it. So, but uh, any um, any repercussions from the housing committee meeting? So yeah, to kind of follow up, I mm-hmm. guess with um, him. So we had a uh, the housing board had a meeting today this morning. Um, they were, had approved two um, two applicants to move forward with bids. Um, two others. So what happens if it's over thirty thousand? So twenty five thousand is what the the grant will put into each one. There's also some weatherization that if they qualify, income qualifies for weatherization, that will pick up some of that cost. But basically, anybody that bigger bigger people might be able to put in five thousand if the you know if they are receiving twenty five thousand. If it's over thirty thousand we the we'll send a walk away letter which means this is this is the amount that's gonna have to be done to get it up to the state's level and and if that is more that they can come up with then they they can say, you know, we're gonna walk away from this and we're not gonna have this done. Right. Um, <laughs> otherwise they have to send a letter of commitment sharing that they will pay the difference between the twenty five thousand and what the bid the final comes cost, in. Yeah. And so and then there is one of those that is receiving a, a code enforcement letter that because right now they are not in compliance and they have to mm-hmm. be um, yeah. and there's um, my understanding is about 15 days. They have to be in compliance, and then if not, we will move forward with the next applicant. Okay. So, um, so right now, that's four that and have been have had the inspections done, <coughs> and will go out for um, hope to go out for bids, hoping that we can see something start in November. Yes. So, um, good knowing that we have to complete three uh, housing complete three housing rehabilitations before we can do a demolition. So. Yes, the compliance issues are they undoable? No, I've. I mean, they know. i specifically what every issue is. I've been on the property with the homeowner at length, Good. specifically naming every single little thing, and I mean everything that I felt was a non was an issue of noncompliance. And yeah. I mean, I'm not going to hold their hands. I feel like right. I've been given plenty of time. If the housing board is there. Final say whether they can. I mean, they're where they can. They're preventing the bid from even going out, right? Right. And that's, they, they won't be but they're still because. giving her more time, and I understand that there's, you know, I feel bad for her in a way because I mean she has moved some rather large struck things that are have was very unsightly and problematic, and she's taking care of some of that. But I mean, that was from the beginning. It's been talked about. Yeah, you've had to be one hundred percent. Well, it'd be a completely I mean, different story if it was something like there's no way this can be done in fifteen days. Right. That's a completely different. And I, I guess I want to be clear: is is this residence was one of the reasons we didn't receive the grant originally? The first time, yeah. So it's very important that house is known to them, and so it's very important that it is in compliance. I remember like. even on the pre-application the this time around, yes. Carol threw this one out. She did not turn it into the state with that property included. She threw it out ahead of time. So, so it's, it's very important. So they're very so that aware. It's in compliance. And the, that is also known to the. As long as I'd say, as long as everything's crystal clear to the property owner, and you've gone literally and pointed out every infraction, I mean, that's up to the homeowner now. A Saturday and a couple high school kids, or I mean, I'm sure that I'm, it's all it's doable. It's just, mm-hmm. just a big dump truck or two, and 
right. And we do have, um, right now, I believe, 14 applicants for housing rehabilitation. Yeah. So, um, you know, knowing there's for sure money for eight. That includes the first four? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. All right. That's great. Yeah. Because we're talking about, I was curious, I suppose, but did some of the, were there any that are coming in under the max? Is there any that are? One. Oh, wow. The rest are... Yeah, but you have to understand, too, when I was kind of surprised, but when the state, they have a standard of 20 years, adding 20 years of life to that home. Okay. And so um, that includes some things that maybe you or I would not, you know, mm -hmm. citing, you know, things like that, that I don't know. Um, I, well, I guess that makes sense, I think. But I just, I'm just trying to think of, there are some things in there that... They're not going to put the, their money into anything that might be in peril. Right. So, right. I mean, you, you know, cracks in a foundation, yeah. um, all every single thing. They, when they inspect <clears> the home, it's for every single From thing. From the foundation so, up. It's kinda, right. So it's like, I think yeah. I really need a roof. That's what's most important to me. But <clears> when the state comes in, it's we're bringing everything up yeah. to that standard. So um, most are going to come into that. I, I would... After looking at that today, I realized that probably most are going to come into that pretty close to the 20, mm. 25,000 <clears throat> based on that. So. Sounds good. Anything else? I do not believe so. Mm. No, I have nothing. Oh. To be. <laughs> no, she was, talking, she, was, she was talking about me too. I'm sorry. Meeting is earned. Everybody out here. <laughs> Unless anybody else has anything specific for me, so thank you for your help. Thank you. Any movement at all of any of the vehicles that we have impounded? Anything at all happen? Um, we have titles that, that for I mean, three of them could be liquidated. Take okay. care of at any time. Because I know the last time. And, build and, I mean, we just have right. to take. I mean, I have titles for two of them. The tractor is there's no title. I don't need to. Um, so basically, it's just a matter of when. We want to do something with okay. them. We can. Well, hopefully here things will slow down a little bit. Okay, so. All so. right. Thank you, Dean. Okay. We'll leave. So. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, whatever else is on your agenda. You consider that you've already met That's that obligation? That's pretty much the update, yeah. Okay. I mean, that, that was the, to, the, the housing board meeting and okay. moving forward okay. with bids. Basically, the update for the grant. So. Okay. Here a while back, after the sheriff was here and stuff, you know, we had talked about speed limits, and mm -hmm. whether I can accurately tell if a truck's doing twenty or forty <laughs> or fifty. Radar, uh, yeah. We know it's not. It's twenty from here to. Yeah, the we next know block. it's twenty, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, obviously, that's a fair amount of money, but. Uh, it was mentioned we might look into a Department of Transportation grant because it would be helpful to enhance safety. And, mm -hmm. and the, I think the thing that I found interesting is, and I've got another um, one that I looked at, um, and I think both of them have a computer program, a chip that you take out, and it actually gives you traffic information. So it'll tell you how many it'll people tell you how many vehicles speed were speeding. Mm -hmm. um, which I find interesting. That, Based on our conversation with you know, would be given that <clears throat> aspect of it, all of a sudden the, the dollar amount doesn't seem quite so unsightly or scary because it's going to give you a history that you'll be able to go back and say, hey, look. Got cameras that yeah. Our unit too. tells us that, you know, X number of vehicles went by exceeding the speed. I mean, granted, you're, I mean, there, there's nothing that's, there's no income going to be made off of that. The point is that it's safety it's, and that it's something you could take to like Lincoln County Police where they're yeah. supposed to be patrolling Sheriff's and you're paying them to do it. And a they job. say, Well, we you haven't say, seen anybody. Well, here's the documentation. You can we say, right. We've had we that have discussion. This and it tells us that there was 60 cars speeding in the last month through here. Right. We request a little more. Something else. That's pretty cool. Enforcement. Yeah, I saw that. And, and, and just for, I guess, for and you, I know it's when he was here in June, mm -hmm. they said in six so years they have not written seven. a speeding ticket on in Sylvan, was my understanding. Isn't that what he said? Mm -hmm. He basically feel, he felt like there, there really weren't people speeding. That's the way I took it. That's what I heard him say. 
So just there's not that much that goes on. Data. I mean, it's, right. it doesn't say like the peak time for speeders and cameras and stuff like that. I'm not that. right. No <laughs> cameras, but um, I, mean, I was going to say, it but basically just each whether day. or not you know how many cars have gone through and then how many of we those break out one of our famous breaker box cameras and put it on. Right. Well, I think it records time. Lucas, I think no right when it was. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, I I would. Think that people would slow down just. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure everybody <laughs> that when you see that sign flash 40, you're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that was, I mean, for, that cool that was for two of them. That's two of them. Six, uh, yeah, approximately six. Does it say on there what what an individual one would be, just so you know? 299. 2,999. Okay. Three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically $500 less if you buy two. Right. Right. Which is, but then you get off. the software, and it, I mean, that's what's kind of, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, I'm sure somewhere anyway, it's included in that. Prize. Just because we've had discussion, they, this came across, and I thought, well, I'd look at a couple different ones, so. If the council would like, we could have Jennifer look into a grant, see if anything's available. Right. Mm-hmm. Would you look DOT? Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of different stuff in regards to the Department of Transportation and KDOT, and I mean, yeah, there's a okay. lot of options. I don't know if that fits, but right. Red. Yeah, I just have, have a question. Thought came to my mind <clears throat> on this particular topic. I understand what your your, your thinking right. process is. Mm-hmm. However, that's what we pay for. My question yeah. is, how many accidents yeah. have there been? let's say, on Main Street in the last six years? Kenny's is, and his building. Four. Is that I know of for sure. <laughs> <laughs> me and, 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 that's what, months, me yeah. and three kids and three at Kenny's. I was going to say, in two years, <laughs> in a year four. four. Yeah. Well, the old fire station. Yep. It, it was ran into. Yep. Uh, I mean, if anything, we're not talking... That was more parking I, issues, I think he was saying. Well, I, I, they're yeah. all... Well, everything I can think of is literally parking issues <laughs> as far as traffic there's, violations. There's been things where, like, let's say the bank got run into. Oh, no, that's you right. You know, uh, and stuff like that. I'm speaking of, you know, because the car is going down right. the street or, or something. And somebody somebody getting hit on the yeah, how many crosswalker. How many accidents have there been in the last six years? Also, Not a whole yeah, lot. The other question is, I'd like to hear a good reason that the council would want to do that. There should be a good reason behind it. <laughs> I will tell you the reason I brought it okay. up specifically for me. Every Tuesday and Wednesday, the library is open, and I watch people with their small children and toddlers and sometimes three or four children mm-hmm. and I and, and then a truck and many and traffic goes by at a high speed and I don't ever want to see one of them hit. It makes me nervous every Tuesday and Wednesday because of the library and the and the children. Right. Besides that also when those kids come down from the school yeah. to the library on their bikes, etc. I do know last week uh, Somebody w- w- ran into um, a biker, so I was a kid. Uh, you so. know, rather than have this, I'm taking. But this that would be a, mine. Is just making I'm, people I'm aware because it's safety. Tuesday. I'm yeah. taking this Tuesday thing, uh, particularly, rather than do that because that right there really does not have much of an impact for a stranger driving through Main Street. Something that would have a better influence warning people would be on Tuesdays. You've seen these plastic things you can put out in the street of a school kid or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think that that would, on Tuesdays, would slow that process down and you could partition it off. But see, Red, we highway. have to remember this is a this is a state highway. highway. This isn't a street. Okay. This is a highway. I understand that. We're, but you couldn't so, put anything. Yeah, in the middle you can't of the put street. anything on the highway. I do know that. The, I mean, but you're what I, you're saying. You could put it on the sidewalk, well, but I don't yeah. know if that would be visible. The, you understand where <laughs> I'm going? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cost wise, absolutely. It's, it's uh, the other issue though, Red. Is I don't know if you've ever experienced like when you go down into Ellsworth. Yes. Downtown. 
right there about where the tennis courts are going around that curve. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while they throw that trailer up there. That, mm -hmm. I've, I've gotten a ticket. Uh, <laughs> so, hey, man, rather, it doesn't do you any good. Get, rather than just get an accounting, uh, counting of the people that buy it, give them a ticket. Well, this goes back to our conversation <laughs> with, with our law enforcement. We were summarily dismissed that we didn't really know how fast the trucks were going. And, and the trucks are my, Jennifer has a very valid point with the kids. Yes. But in my house, or in front of my house, a truck goes by, I darn sure know well enough if he's doing 20 or if he's doing considerably more. And I was told, well, the truck is so big it just seems he's going fast. Well, I've driven trucks all my life. I've got a pretty good idea how fast. I can tell you almost to the day when uh, co-ops start shipping grain out of Hunter. Because then the trucks start. And it just, like I say, it's, it's scary sometimes. So all of those things culminate in trying to do something because our, after having visited with law enforcement, they said they don't think there's an issue. Uh -huh. Which leads me to the next question here, because I don't know this. Does the city of Sylvan Grove have a contract with the county of Lincoln for law enforcement? Yes. Sort of. They pay them this amount of money. How much? Every month, $972. Well, it used to be they had a city cop, didn't they? Um, I would say, have, have you ever thought about having uh, the county sheriff perhaps do some patrolling here on Main Street. That's what the do. contract, yeah, they that's do. what it's for. Yeah, we have. They yeah. come over they put their, every day. They come over and put their time in the morning. They, they have not written any tickets in six years. They are, here, they are here every day. They are here in the morning and they are here in the afternoon when the kids are on school. the way to school. That's school. Yeah. That's related but, to the school. And, yeah, and they primarily they're come. patrolling school zones. Yeah. Right. But mm -hmm. they're also on the <laughs> Right. But what I'm saying to you is they have never written a ticket, regardless of a traffic violation, is what was said to us in June. Now, I believe they have written a ticket, but for speeding on Main Street. So then, I would, if I put myself in y'all's position, I'd say, you want that device so that you can gather the information to report to Lincoln to say, you're following, you know what, get out here and do your job. Right. And, uh, and, and I will, I will give a defense of our, our county law enforcement. They have a large county, yeah. and they have one officer that patrols the entire county. So I want to be clear: I'm not mm -hmm. trying to to diss on the county, Lincoln County Highway. I mean the, the police department. Right. But there is there's, there is the outside chance, in addition to collecting data, that we also might discourage somebody from speeding down Main Street. You know. You know, that over information at Lucas, said 25% decrease. At Lucas, Do what? At Lucas, they had a similar problem to this. And so they came over from Russell, and I think they gave, one of them was a school bus. I heard they gave a one or two mile an hour over the speed limit, and they, they came over and gave some tickets, and they said, okay, no, we don't want you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I mean. That's, that's the true. I mean, I think a more effective thing, or at least it's been effective with me, is, um, oh, shoot. That happens when you get old. Uh, right north of you. Who lives there? Les? Les. Les Walters. Yeah. Has that black silhouette yeah. of a person there. That is more effective for me. When I see that, I say, oh, move, slow down. What is it? Headville? Didn't the Headville, Headville used to have a yeah. police car? A uh, plywood police car out there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we can just get, we can just have Darren bring another well, cop car down here. I've seen all kinds of things like cop <laughs> cars with mannequins in them, and he probably has a one That's for rent. Is, we need to put that up there with the motion activated. <laughs> what? It flashes a light when they go by. I mean, we can put on the signs that there's video surveillance too. We wouldn't know the difference. Truth right. Advertise. <laughs> <laughs> on there that, that, you know, camera on there. Exactly. And, and, hey, what, I, mean, I see what's one of those. The I, think I, mean, I don't slow down. I mean, I got a Concordia. Early in your conversation, you said something about Tuesday. No, thing. What What am I missing? That's library. It's library. It's library. Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Okay, okay. And, and Fridays, Friday okay. afternoon. I feel it would be 
to our best interest to be proactive than okay. reactive. Well, you're pointing out some things, and I agree with that. I don't know if you remember here, last year we had a high-speed chase went through here. Oh, yeah. We had a high-speed chase through here. In fact, it was a year ago. ago. It was a year ago because I had the seed wheat grain cart behind my pickup. And I saw them guys make the corner at the, at the river. And I realized uh, what was going on. And I thought, you know, I could turn out in front of him there and slow him down. I thought, no, my luck, he'd probably shoot off and hit my house or something. <laughs> he was definitely doing more than 20. So well, they just had one. Yeah, about three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Right down Main Street. That and J-turns. <laughs> I don't know how many J-turns I see in town. It's just front of the bank. It's a J-turn. Well, it's instead of going down. around when the block, you cross the double yellow it's when lines. you just make a it's turn right back yeah. into a diagonal yeah. parking lot. It'll plane. eventually be a complete U-turn yeah. when, you, yeah. when you back out and go north. Which or south. Oh, do they give you story and you just whip it in there, you mean? It's people Possible. making improper U-turns. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Need to do it, you know, left hand side. And everybody wants to pull over to the right hand, wait yeah. for the traffic to pass, and then pull exactly. out. Exactly. And that's not what you're supposed Seriously, to do. Seriously, you wouldn't believe how many J turns I see in town going oh, through yeah. the bank. Mm -hmm. You know what I do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you don't yeah. save that much time, actually. Where'd that flyer get to? Who's got it? Which get flyer for what? The, yeah. For the song. Oh, it's back to me. Okay, okay. Good enough. Okay. All right. Anything okay. else on that? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. You got anything else? No, just um, I think that's all I have other than... I you want to report. read Terry's report? Oh, yes, I'm around. sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I do have that. Thank you. Okay, Terry um, is... On vacation. Uh, Deep Creek will be water jetting the west one third of town beginning October 15th and 16th. Um, those sewer mains, and that should catch us up to our regular maintenance mm -hmm. schedule. Um, and Viraline will be doing the lift station repair work sometime in the late October, kind of tentatively planning the 22nd. Um, and then the water service line was replaced, the meter yoke and valve at 109 Pennsylvania due to a uh, a leak on the on the yoke below the valve. Um, also, I think that's. Oh, it has been an issue for a long time. The uh, at the sale barn in Heather Meyer's residence, that that basically two two places were on one meter. So, sort of like I mean, I'm not. I want to say that. If you turned off one, it turned off the other one. I think there were actually two meters. Anyway, he redid, replumbed it to where each one has their own shut off. Individual meter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think they each had a meter. I'm not sure exactly how that worked, but mm -hmm. I didn't the see The wiring. It. Right. Yeah. Plumbing. Anyway, so well, he did fix that. They had a water leak there, and so at that time he went ahead and fixed that issue. Um, Kenny's been mowing, mowing, lawn mowing, and... Uh, Larry and Terry have been working on grading and repairing the streets. How's the... Uh, They're moving, too. How's the and moving moving. going? Good. If, if I would love for y'all to take a walk out In back the there before you leave because <laughs> it, uh, it's impressive. And um, we found a lot of treasures, and, and the dumpster had was full last well, Thursday. Of treasures or well, not treasures? Um one right. Trash, trash, trash. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So um, a lot of stuff was just removed, um, and a lot of stuff went over to the next door building. So oh. and one of the next steps, I think, is is to wire in um, two twenty for the welder. Yeah, and the, I was going to yeah, say welder. Welder. So that's kind of our next step. And then, like I said, if you look back there, basically it's just kind of there's not a lot that has to go. Did, did they find anything out on the grader? They were going to try and adjust that. They did adjust it because I. That as I'm trying to think if they used it after they adjusted it, but I don't remember. But okay. I know they worked on it. Okay. So seriously, I, folks, I like at some point, and I realize this was not the year to do it. We bought a building, we paid a water loan off early, and all this. But mm -hmm. at some point, we, you know, we've we've done a good job <laughs> of updating and maintaining our line of equipment. You know, we've replaced tractors. <clears throat> stuff but our motor grader uh is arcade and it 
we really need to at some point be thinking about replacing it. Uh, I think if we do it, you know, on our timetable as opposed to wait until it blows up, we can find something considerably newer. It's still going to be old, mm -hmm. but it'd be newer by this standard and stuff. And because, in all honesty, uh, this thing here, it's takes two men and a boy to run it. So that's what we were talking about. They were trying to adjust one side of the drive, and it's, you know, we can either put a ton of money in that old machine and fight with it, or we can start looking around for something a little bit newer. So just FYI. So, Did you get any more quotes as far as you were talking about the lining on the sewer line? No, I actually, surprisingly, I have really not had anybody get back to me, um, which I'm kind of surprised, um, and I haven't really spent a lot of time pursuing it. But, I mean, I put in a lot of calls with the emails, and um, I, right now I don't have anything new. Okay. Um, but, I, again, I feel like the one thing I'm going to have to do is probably the hurdle is let's look at some funding for that so, um, before I pursue it too hard. Well, that I probably sound like a broken record, but even if council members want to get with Terry and get some of the stuff to flush down the sewers and tell your neighbors, oh. tell your friends, <laughs> well, that's what I wondered. I mean, we can help ourselves. Right, but that's what I wondered if like. Would it be wrong to put it out there, there, there on the sign yeah. Yeah. that says stop in and get your... <laughs> she might be overwhelmed. <laughs> I honestly, personally, feel or, like or it's would better, it be better to if we have him a... go... I mean, he's given yeah, it to I mean, a lot of people. I've had some people come in and get yeah, it. But I, I, just seem I mean, I can... I I can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's I'm just saying word of mouth would help him. Right. Right. Well, I have been telling people to stop by and the pick city. Up we actually have stuff to flush down the packet. toilet. He to has an individual packet to help with the uh, trees. Like say, it it can't but help. Right. It may not cure the old problems, but it mm -hmm. it's something that we can do. It's easy to do. So how often are Seems they good. saying? Yeah. I don't. I don't. Is know there, that is there, did you get one of the little? I haven't gotten any of it yet, but I'm just asking because I've had people ask me. I mean, do you do this once a month, or do you do this? That's I mean, honestly, probably a Terry. Yeah, know what and I think his concern with it too is that if too many people do it at once, yeah, you don't want to hit it too hard. Them. You'll kill the algae. Yeah, well, you'll upset, maybe you won't. The, you'll like upset the, the balance yeah. of the. No, I, I, there's a concern with that. Like I said, you wouldn't want everybody in town dumping right. it down at the same right. time. Everybody. But Terry knows where the problem, where the chronic lines yes. are, and I've told him at least concentrate on those areas. And going back to what Dean said, we've talked about this before, you start walking up and down the alleys, there's unwanted shrubbery, it's wild. Well, if we have another work day or something, I, I mean, and we just clean the alleys. <laughs> what was that for? Well, if you want a 20 foot right away, I know. I mean, yeah. just on, just on uh, Jack and I's block, you're probably you going to remove have one. 30, probably about 30 trees. That's what I said. Do it one block at a time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, like I say, uh, this summer I've had occasion to walk around some of the alleys, and it's scary. Stuff that just it wasn't planted, it just yeah, volunteer, yeah, it's volunteer. So. Yes, sir. Oh, you all know me by now. <clears throat> if we I, didn't, we do now. <laughs> I, I've got a little saying about that you want the alleys clean, maintain. Well, I think there's a lot of people that didn't realize that was they, they say it's the cities and they shouldn't have to. Well, I've heard that the, the council here make the comment, we do not maintain the alley. That's been the policy for well, a long time. That's the policy. And I'm, what I'm saying is, we need to if, change you it. Want them, if you want the alleys clean, maintain them. It doesn't take that much. It really doesn't, once you get started. You, you take a grater, maybe your replacement grater, and go down through the alleys, you know, once every quarter, once every six months. And that's a start right there. 
along the south end of my street would be well, real dirt, short. not gravel. I, you can I, take I, a down. There. I drove around the city, and from what I can see, I think I discovered that there was two alleys that you could not get down. Uh, one of them is right behind the county building between there and the mortuary, and the other one is oh, up near Halberts, I, I believe. There's one there yeah. that's, that's uh, not really visible. The rest of them, uh, as far as from what I've seen, I think you can drop, actually, literally drive a fire truck when right I, down. Well, I was going to say, when I visit with people, I tell them, well, one, in, one incentive might be if your house is on fire, we might want to put a big fire truck back there, and if we can't get back there. If you can't get back there, your house could be. Yeah. Okay. But I'm, I'm what, just saying, you know. What I'm saying uh, when I I could drive at the north end of town and look straight down the alley on a lot of them, and uh, you know you can get down those alleys. And all I'm saying is, you know, if you want them clean, maintain the alley. It doesn't take that much. Is that the end of Curry's report? Yes. All right. Got anything, Will? Um, I don't know if it's just around, like, where they put the fence up on the basketball court, but there's a lot of stickers in the park. I don't know if oh, it's really? just there or if it's, like, all around. But when you say stickers, you mean sandbirds or the kind you throw at somebody's back? When you're a kid. <laughs> I guess you mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't right. have said that. <laughs> Not sandbirds. Like okay. the, ones, the grassy ones that yeah. Yeah, skip out like on. this. Yeah. yeah, tomahawks. Yeah. So he might get. He knows spray. what I'm talking about. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We've all had. Don't give experience. these kids any spray. ideas. Uh -huh. See, public can spray around. I see him. Yeah. Yeah. Or spray a teacher's chair too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it is it like an area where they can't get with the mower or the weed eater? No, I think they will get to a weed eater. I mean, because the concrete sticks out, you know, that far from where the right. the posts are that you put in there. So I mean, there shouldn't be a problem there. Okay. I think it's probably just grew up when they did that dirt work around. There that's what I was that yeah, yeah whenever we bring so. fresh dirt in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's Will's second home. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you got anything? I'll tell Terry. Got anything? Ryan, too many Ryan's. Used to be deans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rhonda? I can't think of anything. JC? Uh, well, thinking of the basketball court, the chain on the rim is broken, I know. Yeah. I put a new net on there and a new chain, and yes. uh, I don't think kids are messing with it. I think it just gets wore out. So really? Yeah. He can, if he can find a heavier one, I don't know it would work, yes. but. I thought a chain it's would all, work. It's all it's like, yeah, no. like quarter inch link. Or I mean, something. it wasn't a real heavy chain, but is that see, when you do one, that? But can you buy? Is it's like basically you're buying a basketball net, but it's made out of chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. It's usually for like, like outdoor dollars. use. Yeah, fifteen. Yes, I like that. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said fifty. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. Got so many it. basketballs going through there wearing a chain. There must out. be. <laughs> well, it ain't just me. I mean, it's, it's a lot of kids that go up there and play. You know? You're sure not that good a shot, <laughs> Will. <laughs> See, well, I thought the chain crawls, crawls up the net. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Practices in their drawer. Oh, they will mess and stuff, you know, with us, so I don't know the chain would work. Cause, okay. I don't know. Don't but but I mean, at this, at this point in the year, I don't know that it makes sense to necessarily do it. It's going to be wintertime and stuff. Anything else? Uh, I didn't offer you an opportunity to speak. Do you have anything you want to say? Ask questions about? I think so. Okay. Oop. Nothing? No. Not even a comment about how quickly we I'm very along. impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I am impressed I got gravel on my road, even though now it's a mud. Well. It'll get and there. It will. I'm delighted too, and I, I you know, have been a little frustrated, but I, you know, we realize we're still in a state of flux, a state of transition. Terry's still getting mm -hmm. acclimated. You know, it's been a year, but you're not going to learn it all in a year. Oh, no. 
and uh, overall, I'm I'm very pleased with the overall picture, the way things have worked. Well, if not, financials. Yes. Any question? I, I know that um, I failed to. I'm pretty sure the warrant was to have. Uh, well, the gas. I, there's several bills that I don't have yet. I'll put it that way. But they're listed. But I don't have the the quarterly lab bill and quarterly lab um, fees. Anyway, there's a few of them on there. Where are you at? Oh, like I said, on the back side, there's a lot of the quarterly ones I don't have. Uh, there's a question on the, on the KDHG water fees. It's based on our usage. Um, there was a miss, uh, a large misread, so I need to make an adjustment with Terry before I finish that report and have a price. But it's usually who are in our favor. So, huh? In our favor. Um, yes, it's it's. Uh, if you look at the computer, what it says, it's a lot more than what it actually is. Okay. So, okay. Uh, just a type. Oh, Anyhow, but I just. I guess if there's not any questions on that, I don't think there's anything abnormal with the mix of the uh, stuff isn't there. Before we get too far along, mm -hmm. maybe we want to talk a little bit about our garbage issue. Oh, about. yes. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know if you want to give us particulars. We're actually running at a, so much. Uh, right loss. now we pay um, we pay the county, the county refuse department, fifteen dollars and eighty cents for each trash cust residential cap crap residential trash customer. And um, we charge them fifteen dollars and sixty cents. Mm -hmm. So one of the things the auditor mentioned is that twenty cents um, difference in terms of what we because it's not it's not even our service. It's not a, I mean it's it's paid for through the city, but it's not a city service. So, mm -hmm. um, some. But on the other hand, right. We're working at a loss. We're working at a loss. Plus, in essence, Jennifer, <coughs> you know, we're not getting compensated the city for the time she spends for the accounting. The billing. Yeah. So. Probably not do anything tonight, but keep that in mind. In the ensuing month, we'll talk about what might be a reasonable rate high potential mm -hmm. price. Rate. Yeah. I said, if you just go, if you go up a dollar, I mean, you're covering it plus. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's yeah, that's something you have to think about. Well, my thought is you already got 20, 20 cent deficit. It ought to be worth twenty five cents per account at least. For you to have to yeah. handle it, because I, if I remember right, we, and and those of you that are new, some years ago the provider was uh, raising the rates rather Rapid. rapidly, rapidly Sharply. and often, and we we called them on it at one time. They actually came and visited us. The county commissioner came with them, and. There was one rate hike that they passed along that council agreed to. We ate it, and but we're not in that position anymore that we can continue to do that. And thankfully, haven't had one for a while. But never say never. Uh, so, in all honesty, twenty cents to get even twenty five cents to. Uh, throw her a bone for what she does on that billing and stuff, all of a sudden your dollar isn't, mm -hmm. you know, basically we're That's patting right. ourselves <laughs> waiting for the next one. So Right, exactly. exactly. Anyway. But it's not going to be so much that people are going to go, oh, man. Well, <laughs> the frustrating part of the way that that's set up, um, you know, we have, I, I, I'll say we have no say-so. Now, that's not true. We have a say so, and and at one time we even looked at changing providers, and that got their attention real quick. Uh, anyway, it's it's a bit of a ongoing concern, but like I say, you guys might keep that in mind. So. Yes, sir. Just 
seem to remember you've got a monopoly. Yeah. Uh, you have recently, just within this past year, changed the rates to where if you have a water bill, you have to have trash. Right. So that's already in place. You've got a monopoly. You can set that price even higher. Well, uh, rather than a buck raise, you know, I don't know, make it five bucks, make it ten bucks. You've got a monopoly. I know, I know we do, but we've always tried to protect our pay for that new road citizens, grader. you know. <laughs> yeah, you can pay for that new road grader. <laughs> yeah. Do the alleys. <laughs> and that's not, I don't think, out of line. No, it isn't. I mean, really, but. Okay. Say what you say. I just, I mean, Along with that, we need bulletproof glass up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need bulletproof glass for that picture window. I just want to be clear, though. That is that is from the county. That is not from us. So we are just collecting what we are charged from the county. Yeah. I mean, I just want to be clear. It's not our monopoly but, at all. But it's, it was it's the not council the here that created the monopoly saying if you have water service, you have to pay for trash service. That's a monopoly. Really? Yes. Well, can you get water service somewhere else? No, you cannot. That's so, a service that the city provides. Well, you can get it from your own well. I'm just saying that it's a service, and part of that service is the offering of trash service. There, Because the people that we get the trash service from do not go t tell me exactly who does and who does not have trash, there is no way from, I'm not going I mean, maybe I could, you know, we could add that to my list of duties, that I could go through every Thursday morning and see who does and who does not have trash. But that's not realistic. So therefore, instead of me going out there every morning, every Thursday morning, and checking to see who has trash and who doesn't, if you have water service, you have trash service, because they'll just pick up anybody that has it out. That's the reason for that policy that the council that decided way. upon. I just yeah. want that to be clear. It's not a monopoly. <laughs> I guess it's, it's about water. effectiveness. Yeah. Who took that one the, real, the real monopoly is with the provider. Now, granted, there's some other people utilizing someone else, but that gets into a whole nother... Well, if you're going to go that direction, all the utilities are a monopoly then. We well, they to. are. Absolutely. Sure. And that monopoly is beyond our control. Yeah, absolutely. So. <laughs> It's because we provide safe water service from the federal end of the state, and those regulations are put in place, and that's the reason it's provided that way. Yeah. Just like if you're on rural water, it's also regulated by the government on well, a higher level. My process here is, you know, why stop? Why go to a dollar? You're going to raise it, make it five dollars or something like that. Um, that can hopefully last a while. Buy your grader for you and uh, move on. Right. Well, I like to say you guys give us some thought between now and next month, and we'll we'll try and have a little more solid information. So, any other FYIs like that? Probably, if you want to do this street sewer thing, is who's supposed to be doing your your uh, committees? Rhonda. <laughs> It's going to have to happen. Well, I don't know how to. You're talking about the assigned responsibility? Yeah. It's a group effort? We, we, it's a group it, effort? Yeah. It is. We have never, at least as long as I've been here. Right. We have never really called on someone and said, "What are you doing about the streets?" I mean, yeah. we 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 tackle it in mass. As a group. I I don't group know that that answer. maybe isn't outdated. It's just it's been protocol to have that there. Mm -hmm. Like say in the years I've been here, I mean, my name was listed at one time for help and something, and, and in the course of saying, "Okay, what does that include?" Well way back when, you know, went and looked at some buildings and mm. had somebody ask me, well, how are you qualified to determine if something needs to be, you know? No. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying, it's, I, 
there, there's no reason it has to be there. I mean, with the council's approval, we can we can do away with that. It's it's obviously somewhat of a dinosaur. Yeah. Do that or Unless, it needs to be updated. Well, <laughs> yeah. One of the two. I mean, if, if you want to make it... The, I, I guess what I'm saying is just with the way council has worked over the past number of years, folks show up and we deal with all the issues as a body. Uh, I mean, obviously, if there's something on there you want to go... Rogue on. I'm not going to get spirit. Get spirit. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm just well, giving you history. I mean, that, you can break it down as to this one goes. That's who who's would. Re- I mean, that's why I'm looking at it. I is know. There, whoever street, if you have issues, they would do the research on it. But I mean, I'm just. I. You guys. Decide what you want to do. Per- personally, I think it's we thought, do. It's the thought process. Yeah. I know. I, I think we do a good job of taking care of the whole, <laughs> yeah, the whole schmear. Yeah. Uh, and if you guys will think it's mundane and, and you know, not required, we can do away with it too. Uh, do you want to do streets? Yeah. I don't know. Sure. Well, yeah. See, see yeah. what happens. Well, I really, I don't even know where the sewer is in my own yard. I know. So there you go. It's in your alley. Yeah. Trust well, me. See, no. she's on hell. Your basement, right? right? Well, right. That, yeah, you're on hell. There you go. She, she knows all about the hell. And, and you know, yeah. in in some ways, they're a liaison. If if yeah. something were to happen, the the <gasps> responsibilities would be distributed amongst us individually instead I, of I, I guess my thought would be is if if someone came to one of the council members with a concern do we want to be in a position where one council member would say well you need to go talk to that council member I personally I my usual answer is if you have a concern come visit with the whole council yeah I mean, I think because we vote on decisions. I think it's better served that way. Yeah. But there again, like say, if there's something you want to spearhead, well, I'm not going to discourage you. I just. But I know, like when we were redoing the park, you know, I was I was on the park committee, and so um, I worked with Rachel, and you know, I was the one that got all the plans for the playground equipment, and so you know. I took it to the grade school and talked to a bunch of grade school kids. What do you want? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that was just because uh, my contact with the school. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's how that particular equipment was, was picked. But uh, otherwise, I, be- I believe that I think our best decisions are made with multiple Oh, I points of view. When it gets down to the yeah, yeah. to the nitty gritty, yeah. I think yes. And you know, like I said, that's compatibility. Those yeah. are liaison positions. <clears throat> All right. Anything else? Last call. I need a motion to accept financials. I'll make a motion. Second. Motion to accept financials is presented. Seconded. Any discussion? If all in favor, say aye. 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 Close, same sign. Motion to adjourn. Okay, a motion to I'll make a motion adjourn. to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you folks for coming. Do what? Get enough money off of the, you know, the increase in the uh, trash. An airport out here would sure be nice. I'll bet you there's a grant somewhere you could go. (laughs) Red, you want to do that? You want to go check out a grant? There you go, Grant. (laughs) We should start calling you Grant, Red. (laughs) We need grants on you. There you go. (laughs) Free Free money. money. (laughs) Golly. Only till you get it. We all know that's where that That free goes. money comes it's from somewhere. Sports convention has like a we pay for it. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. It's called TAA. Sports, 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 sports Connection is where we get all of our park and some baseball equipment and all that. Oh, yeah.